Reinhold Messner was the first to climb Everest without supplemental oxygen and the first to solo it. He was the first to climb all 14 8,000 meter peaks. He brought alpine climbing to the Himalaya and redefined mountaineering in a way that made it a different game. Now age 66, Messner climbs with his son, is completing a mountain museum at his castle in the South Tyrol, and recently attended a trade show where he signed copies of his books, he's written over 50, and in a rare interview, sat down with Rock and Ice. That is, but that is, they only, dis, uh, they show me that they have no idea about history. <laughs> because history is, is, I could be, maybe I was, uh, I had the leadership in high altitude climbing, there's no doubt, between, I would say, 75 and beginning of the 80s. Because together with Peter Havala, we invented a new approach. And we were then the only ones for a few years, only for a few years, to, to behave in this way, because nobody else, had the experience to do so. But we were overcome quite quickly by the Polish climbers, by the Slovenian climbers. It's very difficult to say who is the leading man today. Maybe in rock climbing is Sharma, probably, maybe also Adam Ondra. In the classical alpinism for at least 15 years it was Alexander Huber, the leading figure, the, the most creative figure. In high altitude climbing in the moment, or maybe in the last years, it was Steve House. So it, there are single figures becoming leading in these uh, fields. In classical alpinism you have to overcome high difficulties, uh, you have to cope with danger, that's dangerous, and you have to avoid danger, this is an art, and you have to do the whole thing in, in high exposure. For this, the uh, climb of Steve House on Nanga Parbat is so important, because he was by himself and his friend Anderson in, in an absolute exposure. If they did, would have done one mistake, 